All right, guys, today I'm going backstage on King Ka so I can show you guys exactly how it works. Maybe you're not a millionaire, and maybe you don't cross the globe for work. Maybe you're an everyday guy just like me that wants to see the world. This is Points for You and Me, the travel vlog for everyone. Before we see exactly how King Ka works, it's important to first understand exactly what King Ka is. King Ka is a hydraulically launched roller coaster. That means it uses the power of hydraulic forces, the compression of fluid, to propel the roller coaster train at a high rate of speed. This is compared to a traditional roller coaster lift, such as a lift hill. Since we use hydraulic fluid to launch the train, the ride is very fast and exciting. All right, guys, we're walking back now, back into King Ka's infield. We're really excited. We're gonna get some awesome views of the ride. King Ka launches riders to 128 miles per hour in only 3.5 seconds. What could possibly generate this much force? It all starts with the 25,000 horsepower motor. All right, guys, we're now heading into King Ka's hydraulic room. Before we get to the motor itself, we first have to start at what powers the motor. Overall, the ride is powered by electricity, but electricity is not actually what moves the train. As previously mentioned, the train is moved by hydraulic fluid passing over a turbine. Electric pumps pump hydraulic fluid into these long red storage tanks at a steady rate, creating an immense pressure within these hydraulic storage tanks. When the train is ready to be launched, a valve is opened allowing all of the pressurized hydraulic fluid to flow out and flow through a system of piping to a small turbine which spins at a high rate. The hydraulic motor which contains the turbine as well as a winch that pulls the cable can be seen in this picture. Notice all of the different hoses for various purposes such as cooling the motor. The entire hydraulic facility is also cooled by high-powered air conditioners, ensuring that the hydraulic room stays at a constant temperature despite outside weather conditions. Now that the system is pressurized and cool, we are ready to go ahead and launch the roller coaster. When the operator presses the button, as can be seen here, controlled chaos ensues. All of the pressurized hydraulic fluid that is stored in the tanks is released into the turbine contained in the motor. This turbine is directly connected to a winch system which is connected to the train via a series of pulleys and cables. In fact, this is the same system that is used to launch airplanes off of aircraft carriers. Now let's go outside and see how this building is connected to the rest of the roller coaster. Okay, so right here you can see the cables connecting from the track over there into the hydraulic room right through there. Now those cables are what's driven by the hydraulic motor inside this building right here. As you might imagine, a cable running through a pulley system at over 100 miles per hour generates a lot of heat. To combat this issue, water is sprayed onto the pulley system continuously while it is operating. The water can even be felt by riders if riding in the front row. Sometimes King Ka is not going fast enough to clear the main element of the roller coaster. If this happens, a rollback, which is simulated here, is likely to occur. The train is designed to come to a safe, complete, and full stop. This is achieved by a very unique and intelligent braking system. Right before King Ka launches, listen for the sound that can be heard. Head back. Hold on. Now watch again, keeping your eye closely on the track this time. Head back. Hold on. Magnetic brake fins which line the entire launch track are retracted all at once right before the train launches. Then, as the train clears each set of brake fins, the brakes are returned to their upright stopping position, ready to stop the ride at any point in case of this happening. And that's all it takes to launch the world's tallest and one of the world's fastest roller coasters.
Hold on. 